Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 5 assignment of the course The Joy of Computing Using Python. So friends, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel. Like this video guys, definitely like this video and share this within your WhatsApp student groups so that it will reach maximum number of students and most of them will get benefited, I hope. So guys, if you are get, getting benefited through our channel, then definitely like the video guys. Don't go without liking the video. So, please watch the video till the end without skipping. So, now let's see the first question. Friends, these are uh, <clears throat> most probable solutions. So, for every solution, I have got it. So, if there are any changes to be made, I will update in the comment section itself. And if you found, uh, if you differ with my solution, you can please mention in the comment section. But I think these are my most probable solutions. So, please use this for reference purpose. First one. Which is the fastest sorting algorithm? That means which will uh, quickly give you the output, right? Within less time. So for first question, the probable solution is third option, quick sort. The name itself tells you quick sort. Now let's move on to the second question. So second one, how can you remove all items from a dictionary? So remove all items from a dictionary. What is the command guys? It is dict dot clear. Dict dot clear. Here dict means the name of the dictionary what we have uh, given, right? And clear means it's a command to remove all the elements. So mark dict dot clear, dictionary dot clear. Now let's move on to the third question. Third one. The third one. So third question. What happens if you try to add a new key to a dictionary that already exists? Suppose if you add a new key to the dictionary which already exists. So what will happen? <coughs> so for third question, I think the probable answer is first option. The key and its associated value will be updated. Now let's uh, move on to the fourth question. Friends, if there are any mistakes, you can please give your opinion in the comment section. But I, th but I think most of these are almost correct. So please check from your end also, if any. So fourth question, which of the following is true about dictionaries? So for fourth question, the answer is third option. guys. Every key must be unique. There should be no duplicate keys. Values can be duplicated, but keys should be unique keys must be unique now let's move on to the fifth question so fifth question what is the syntax to create a dictionary what is the syntax to create a dictionary so for fifth question the answer is option D. I mean uh, option B guys. Second option. So there is a flower braces right. Curly braces what you call. So second option is the correct answer for fifth question. Now let's move on to the sixth one. What will be the output of the following code. So I did this in my compiler guys. So when I. So. Before getting into this solution, I want to make a small announcement regarding exam preparation MCQs, guys. So for the course, the joy of computing using Python, we have prepared exam preparation MCQs, guys. So with nearly five years of NPTEL experience, we have collected from this previous year MCQs. So there are two packs, super savings pack and normal savings pack, guys. 
so here you will get PDF access Google Drive link so in the super savings pack you will get three huge number of 300 MCQs guys for just 500 rupees only up to five members can access this course guys this PDF that means per each person if you share 100 rupees with your friends then you can combinedly buy this 500 rupee right so the price will be 500 only guys and uh, you uh, up to five members can access this so please form groups with your friends and you can purchase this 500 pack guys so uh, up to five members and yeah, validity will be till the exam day guys that not one month or two months whenever will be the exam you will get till that exam date guys even if the exam is postponed we will also extend the date no problem and topics coverage is also very high guys high topic coverage and search option is also available and it is also easy to revise because you can easily scroll the PDF right so that's it guys and this is super I mean just savings pack here you will get 150 MCQs which worth 300 rupees guys you will get the validity till the exam day and up to three members can access this 300 rupees pack for super savings pack it is 500 rupees you can access for up to five members will can access that guys so the topic coverage here is medium and it is also easy to revise and it's such option is also available so my preference is it's better to take a uh, 300 mcq spec because you are getting more number of mcqs lower number of mcqs means better practice better practice can lead to better grade right so if you want uh, these mcqs you can message me to this email id guys already many students have taken our pdfs and got benefited so this is the email id you have to mail me for so please uh, mail me only if you want to buy guys so now let's move on to the solutions so sixth question what will be the output of the following code so i did this in my compiler so when i did this i have got the answer as third option Now let's move on to the seventh question. In the Monte Hall problem, what is the probability of winning if you switch doors after the host reveals a goat behind one of the other doors? So for seventh question, I got the answer as third option, two by three. Two by Three. Now let's move on to the eighth question. In the Mont Hall problem, what is the probability of winning if you do not switch doors after the host reveals a goat behind one of the other doors? So for eighth question, I have got the probable answer as second option. Now moving on to the ninth question. What is the name of the game show that the Mont Hall problem was based on? So for ninth question, the probable answer is fourth option. Let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. Now moving on to the final question of the assignment. That is tenth one. What module in Python can be used for speech to text conversion? So before getting into this solution, I want to once again make you remember. So we are preparing nearly 300 number of huge number of MCQs for just 500 only up to five members can access this. So you'll get the validity till the exam day guys. And there is high topic syllabus coverage also available and such option will be provided to search your required question. And it is also easy to revise. You can message me to this email ID. So, so please mail me only if you want to purchase that. Now let's get back to the final solution. So which module in Python can be used for speech to text conversion so for 10th and final question the probable answer is first option speech recognition so mark first option as probable solutions for 10th question so friends these are the probable solutions for week 5 assignment of the joy of computing using python course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this with your friends and or classmates so make it spread
as many as students as possible and they will get benefited i hope so guys keep supporting us like this so please like the video if you get benefited through our channel so that's it guys so until the next video goodbye thank you